Hey guys, back here, Gunner here. So we'll do another video. It's mostly on prepping air guns. A lot of people will use those crossman pumpers, which are really good. I'll show you a few of them that I have for, you know, like a, a survivalist type air rifle and whatnot. But I want to show you my choice for like a prepping survivalist, you know, SHTF sort of situation air gun. Because a lot of people go with those crossmans, and I have another one that I think is probably a little bit better. It shoots a lot harder, and you got dual calibers with this thing so you know i just want to show you guys this and you know hopefully you think it's pretty cool back inside out of the cold <laughs> it's like 29 degrees out so it's really cold out there but i want to show you my choice of a really good prepper survivalist shtf air gun from beeman you guys have seen this i've done reviews on it dual caliber shoots in 22 and 177 to do here so I don't know if you see Let's see if I can get this in camera angle but there's a little little island key down there you know you unscrew this and barrel pulls out put the 22 in pull that out put the 177 in I've shot it in just 22 my 22 barrel on this thing is really really accurate it's probably one of my favorite brake barrels I got I know I don't shoot it enough but this thing is pretty dang accurate. I'll show you in the videos of when I got, when I've shot it. Think, think one of my videos where I'm shooting, I got the targets zoomed in really close. I think I'm like 25 yards out. It's been a long time since I did that video. It was like last, was it last summer or the summer before last? I don't know, I've been doing this for a bit. <laughs> kind of dawned on me, but uh, yeah, this thing here, it's really, really, really nice. My only gripe with this for being like a survival rifle is there's no open sights. As you see, it's optic only. But maybe maybe you could rig up something. I mean, with this dovetail here, maybe, you know, maybe buy one of those little open sights if we could set on top of a dovetail. Then maybe you'd be a little bit more prepared. But I mean, that's just more stuff you have to carry. I'll show you some other pretty good survival rifles that would be also a good option which you guys know what's coming it's the crossman ones so let me show you real quick this one here is from the custom shop it's a pumper we got it in 22 another another good option this one actually has open sights if you want to use open sights as you can see we have it scoped but yeah you know a lot of these pumpers they they last a really long time you know if you do a little little bit of maintenance on them every now and then which is minimal you don't have to do much to these just oil them up a little bit and you're, you're good to go see here put a little little spot here to put a bipod on you put attachments on this thing so put that there because we got a few mounts that you can put on this a uh, few bipods but yeah it's pretty cool and it's not that expensive i think we from the custom shop spent i think it was maybe it's like 160 for this you know we put this stuff on there it's like a little cheap rest we made out of some foam here my dad he did all this so I mean that's another really good good option it's just with this brake barrel here you're gonna get a lot more power this thing generates a lot more powers a lot more feet per second and the energy of the hit it's gonna be a lot stronger but like I said the only thing with this is it doesn't have open sights so I mean your optic goes down you're gonna be kind of <laughs> kind of guessing where your shots go and that's that's not the best but still a really good option because you know you take this barrel off and from where I got my hand here that that's the whole the whole shebang where my hand here is holding the grip in the the barrel here that's the size of it so it'll fit in a backpack and then you can take the two barrels put it beside each other in your backpack and you know you got a real good option and you, know, you could use this and then grab that uh 
crossman there because that thing's small too. Put those both in your backpack. You know, got double options. If this one optic goes out, you can use the uh, open sights on that. So, just giving you guys little little ideas, whatnot. I mean, it's always good to think ahead. I mean, you never know; things could happen. I mean, I don't think they will, but it's better to be prepared than not at all. So, I'll just show you guys a few of these rifles that might be good for survivalist people and preppers and. SHTF situation so hopefully the weather will get warmer it's cold out here it's middle of December it's like 29 out and kind of hard to get out and shoot videos I'll probably get out and shoot some shooting videos and just freeze for you guys because I, I get the itch to shoot so catch you guys in the next one